North Korea sentences Trump to death for insulting Kim Jong-un. North Korea's state media has criticized Donald Trump for insulting leader Kim Jong-un, saying the U.S. president deserved the death penalty and calling him a coward for canceling a visit to the inter-Korean border. An editorial in the ruling party newspaper Rodong Sin Moon focused its anger on Trump's visit to South Korea last week, during which he denounced the North's cruel dictatorship in a speech to legislators in Seoul. The visit was part of a marathon five-nation Asia tour by the U.S. president aimed largely at galvanizing regional opposition to the North's nuclear weapons ambitions. The worst crime for which he could never be pardoned is that he dared to malignantly hurt the dignity of the supreme leadership, the editorial said. He should know that he is just a hideous criminal sentenced to death by the Korean people, it added. Since becoming president, Trump has engaged in an escalating war of words with Kim Jong-un, trading personal insults and threats of military strikes and raising concerns about an outbreak of hostilities. Towards the end of his Asia tour, he sent a tweet from Hanoi that took the verbal juicing to a new level, taunting the North Korean leader over his height and weight. Why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me old? when I would never call him short and fat? He tweeted. The members of the ruling Kim dynasty past and present enjoy near godlike status in North Korea, which has demonstrated extreme sensitivity to any remark that might be seen as mocking or disrespectful of the leadership. The editorial also took a dig at Trump as failure to tour the demilitarized zone. DMZ, dividing the two Koreas a traditional stop-off for senior U.S. officials visiting the South. Trump's helicopter taking him to the DMZ had turned back after just five minutes due to bad weather and explanation the newspaper dismissed. It wasn't the weather, the editorial said, he was just too scared.